Hey y'all. How 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 is it popping? How are we popping? We just hit uh over a hundred subs on the YouTube channel. Let's freaking go, dude. I am so happy. And I'm incredibly grateful. Uh I I know some people like do like uh I don't know, they'll sometimes like do special things like when they hit sub goals. Um, I, it happened a lot faster than I thought it would, so I don't really, I was thinking of doing like 100 reps on bench press, but like that's pretty suboptimal. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe if you watch enough vlogs, I'll eventually hit um, 100 reps on my bench press. <laughs> But I only do three sets of five, so that's like and fifteen. So it'll be it'll be like eight eight vlogs. In eight vlogs, I'll be a hundred reps in, and we can celebrate. I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so freaking much. I'm super blown away. Uh, yeah, I'm super blown away. I did not expect in any regard to uh to to have the support that I've been getting from y'all so I really appreciate it I'm so 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 grateful so thank you guys so much um it's come to my attention <laughs> there's like there's like 90% of the comments on my last YouTube video is just blood is not Sam Sulek. Um, that is correct. Um, I understand that it, uh, it might appear as though I am ripping off the G. Um, I, I don't watch his channel specifically for that reason. Um, I don't really watch any of his content either specifically for that reason. I really enjoy the memes and the sound bites and stuff like that I see on Instagram and whatnot. But, um, <clears throat> nah, uh, on the real though, Sam Sulek did indeed, uh, show me that this style of content is, is uh, something that's possible in my life. Um, I've been wanting to vlog for a really long time and you know, start making content like this, and, I don't know, I had this little perfectionist idea in my head, like, I need to have a crazy good camera, and, like, I need to have a setup, and I need to hire someone to come and walk around the gym with me with a camera and all this stuff, and it's like, no, like, bro, just get a tripod and a microphone, and, like, you're, you're probably chilling, and, anyways, so that's been a big encouragement to me, because it's like, oh, okay, I don't, I can still do this, which is something I've wanted to do for a long time, without having to go and spend a bunch of money and like create this whole crazy setup and whatever. And so, anyways, I just wanted to clear clear that up. Um, <laughs> it's so funny, but we're heading back today. Um, my workout schedule is pretty messed. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on most of the time. <sighs> but that's okay. <sighs> I've been working on a new meal plan for this next bulk. I did I did 11 weeks on my last one. And then this is the second week of my kind of break. Where I'm just taking a little break. <laughs> Um, and then hopefully on this new one, we'll be able to go like 12 to 15 weeks. And as always, I'll be bulking. What? Hey, my brother, can you please stay in your freaking lane? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hey, if you, dude, if you want to get over, you can get over, but you're going to have your blinkers on.
some people, bro. See, the blinker was on, so I thought he was getting over, but now nah, you're just driving in my lane, halfway. Let's uh, let's pay attention there, bud. Oh, good lord. Anyways, 12 to 14 weeks on this new one. I, I'm planning out better better tasting meals, uh, so that I can hopefully endure a little bit longer on this bulk. Oh, that's what I was saying. Aggressively, always. I'm I'm bulking aggressively, super uber aggressive. Like. We're going crazy with it. Not like dirty like levels, but I mean the, the, the goal is about a pound a week, which is pretty aggressive. But my body really likes that. Uh, <laughs> it likes when it's aggressive, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, uh, it responds well to it, positively. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. I, I decided my carbs. So meal one will be oats. Meal two will be rice. Meal three will be rice. Meal four will be rice. And then meal five will be potatoes. Um, that's going to be the basic outline. So then I just, I need to get some of my proteins sorted, my shakes, and then also some of my fat sorted and then just kind of the layout basic layout of carbs and stuff and like how that when I'm eating before my workouts and stuff like that but I like making meal plans a lot more than just having an app on my phone where I put all my macros in just because like even though it gets kind of monotonous eating the same thing same few things every day um it's so much easier for me to just pre-calculate my meals and that way in the morning or at the beginning of the week when I'm weighing everything out, I don't have to go back in my phone every meal and put the macros in because it's like, all right, I know I'm getting 100 grams of rice. I've already calculated this in my overall macros for the week. Um, and so it's just, it's much simpler and um, I enjoy it a lot more and, and in some ways, I also enjoy the monotony of the food. Um, I can't really complain about it that much. Uh, if you're trying to get big, you eat to get big, and that's just how it is. So why should I really care if my food is all this fancy schmancy stuff when I can make the same thing every day and get bigger? And if that's... that's <laughs> Oh, excuse me. That's more important than enjoying my food at this point. Um, and like that outlook also is helpful too because eating that volume of food and then having to go and worry about if that food tastes good just gets freaking ridiculous. It's it's totally not worth it to me. Um, you know, if you're one of those people who's like, oh, my food, like it's got to be fancy, like it's got to be all this and that. Like, I understand that feeling for sure. Uh, I just, I don't agree with that particular outlook for, for me because I must prioritize getting big and to do it sustainably, I, I really can't worry about the taste of food. It's just not, it's not on my mind. Um, so, there's that TED Talk. Um, my client got me this bottle and look it blends itself. I press this button. Look at that It's so satisfying and it like it's got little lights and the sound it makes oh Yeah, that is nice Anyways This thing is really cool. I've noticed that it makes my protein shakes taste better and I never would have thought that the way that, like, something is mixed up would make it taste better. But I think it, like, froths it a little bit, which is really nice. Um, it definitely tastes better when it's a little bit frothy. Um, or so I'm told. Um. <laughs> so... 
Let's go freaking crazy bazonky zonk on my back. Um, trying to find new synonyms for words like crazy, uh, bazonky, wacky, looney tunes, um, absurd, silly even. Uh, I'm looking for more of those. So uh, as my dialect expands, hopefully we can find more appealing and uh, uh, pleasing words uh, for how just schizophrenic that we're going to be at the gym today. Um, I, I, (laughs) I like to whip out the type B personality as soon as I set foot in the gym and, um, and we just go crazy, listen to good music and have a good time. Crap. I really hope I didn't forget my, okay, I didn't, my AirPods. That would have been depressing. Um, yeah. Uh, if I don't get a big pump today, someone's getting a complaint. I'm talking about God. I'm going to be complaining to God. I'm going to be like, Lord, what's the point of having all this blood if I can't just send it straight to my lats, you know? (sighs) Let's go inside. (laughs) Let's go inside. All right, we mixed up my pre. Well, I should say the bottle mixed it up. (laughs) Don't I feel so fancy (laughs) in the pants, for real. Anyways, um, a little snacky snack. I I had a carb-heavy breakfast, i.e. it was only carbs. Um, But I also... I also kind of want a little treat. Uh, already carnitine, pre, no stem, um, simple, simple stuff. Um, I guess, um, today I can show you guys some of the shoulder mobility stuff that I do. Um, it's all centered around like rotator cuff and whatnot. I say, I don't know why I said it and, and whatnot. It's just rotator cuff. Um, Trying to get that, that beautiful, beautiful shoulder. This is still rough. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. So maybe I'll, uh, I'll take you guys through. It's all just a bunch of banded internal, external rotation, 90 degree internal, external rotation. Um, super simple, super nice, super good, super efficient. Um, um, yeah, it's just, it's pretty goaded. Don't be skipping your warm-ups. You want to not get injured? Hmm? Oh, you might be like, oh, I'm fine. I've never, I don't even feel pain. I do a warm-up set. When you're 30 and decrepit, I want you to, Play those words on repeat in your mind. Warm up. Good lord. I'm actually pretty sure that I've explained these before. But I'll just go into a little bit more depth. Um, It's four, technically five whole movements. But um, I'm just going to kind of zoom through it a little bit. You can watch this back if you need to. We're locking 90 degrees in the elbow. Elbow's locking in to our side, boom, we're pulling out as far as we can, getting a really nice squeeze, boom, two sets of eight of all of these, then I'm switching around, and I'm doing the opposite, I'm out, locking the elbow in, 90 degrees, I'm pulling in to my stomach, so you guys can see it, boom, here, into here, boom, okay, simple, simple, let me make sure that my head's not being cut off right now, next thing's next, we're gonna raise this up a little. Okay, same thing, except now we're adding a 90 degree. So I'm here at 90 degrees, now I'm adding a 90 degree in the pit, the armpit. All right, <laughs> so I'm here, boom. 
as far back as I can. Again, two sets of eight of each of these. Then I'm flipping around, just so that you guys can see. I'm going to do it on my right hand. 90. 90. Here. Roll it forward. Boom. Rotation. Delicious. Delectable. Okay. A uh, variation that you can do is like pulling back. So like you can, I don't know where the frame is to be honest, but you can do like a pullback with like a rotation. And that one's pretty nice. That's a good warm up. It's not as much of a strengthener. But I guess it can be. I shouldn't say that. But uh, yeah. Uh, and then let me show you guys the last one that I'm going to knock these out real quick. And then, um, huh. Then we're going to start lifting fat, dude. All right. Please don't look at my butt too much. Um, I know I kind of got that bookshelf, but maybe I'll, I'll avoid the risk. I'm going to face this way. All right. So first thing you're going to want to do <coughs> is literally... We're back in that 90 degrees. And this right here is a stretch. We're keeping our elbows down against the turf and we're trying not to rotate our shoulders too far forward. So we're really just, we're being flat and we're getting a nice deep stretch. Oh, once this gets easy, you can walk it up a little, walk it up a little, sink back into that stretch. Ooh, it hurts. My mobility in this area is, is, is really rough. So, yeah. Next up, let's strengthen this range of motion a little bit. So I'm here, boom, I'm rotating up. Oh gosh. Oh. Again, really hard, try to keep your elbows from coming up and back too much. If it's too hard, you can go here. Right, so find that kind of sweet spot where you feel like you can rotate. Keep those elbows down, wrists up. So you're up here. <coughs> Anyways, that was a pretty poor explanation. I'm sorry, I'm not in personal trainer mode right now. I can't be, I'm in schizo mode. Anyways. There's your rotator cuff warm up. I try to do that at least two times a week. Ever since I started, my shoulders have gotten immaculately bigger. Like, bigger, I shouldn't say, bigger's not the right word. They've gotten uh, much more mobile and much like my stabilization is much better, much stronger. So I highly recommend doing rotator work because then you'll be able to lift till you're like 90, you know. And that would be, that's pretty sick if you ask me. So let's, uh, I'm gonna knock out this warm up. I'm gonna do some banded lat pullovers. And uh, man, I need to stop talking when the camera's not freaking on me. You guys are just getting grass. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some rotator stuff. Uh, I'm gonna do my rotator stuff. I'm gonna do some banded lat pullovers. Um, single arm banded lap pull downs and then we gonna be warm as a mug let's get it the near and dear to my heart movement wide grip lap pull downs absolutely zaztastic um so yeah I'm just gonna hit some warm up sets two warm up sets well technically three we're gonna be at half then we're gonna be at like 75%. Then just one rep at my working weight. Rest, hit the set. Let's get a crazy pump.
I kind of did a little wiggle there, and that's literally just so that um, I can make sure I can feel both my lats activating evenly. They were kind of, my left one wasn't really triggering the way I wanted it to, so I wiggled it a little, and now we're back on. Even Steven, baby. And it's over. Uh, last warm up set. We are at 200 pounds. We're just going to do one rep just to acclimate my nervous system to the weight, take a little rest, and then we're into the first working set. Um, for those of you who are interested in the music that I listen to, I'm actually not listening to EDM right now. Um, I'm listening to Pierce the Veil and Dayseeker. Um, I'll probably switch to EDM, probably during Rose, but right now I'm thoroughly enjoying Pierce the Veil. Very good. And Dayseeker, also very good. Incredible even. <sighs> Boom. One rep. Uh-oh. My quadratus lumborum feels a little weird right now. I'm gonna go roll that out. We got we got some we got some QL seepage over here. I'll be back. My QL, my erector a little bit, so we're chilling there. Uh, I know I said I was gonna wait to switch to EDM, but then I was thinking about hitting this set to the most guttural failure humanly possible, and I realized that I should probably just switch to EDM. The loud noises give me peace while I'm experiencing pain. Uh, let me chalk up. Territory by Versa. My favorite comment in the world <laughs> on my last video. Someone said, bro, why are you whimpering? <laughs> Jim is mommy now, baby. <laughs> okay, I remember. It's Opus by Subtronics. But this is the, I believe, the Peekaboo remix. Mm. Freak yeah, dude. Oh, I dropped down 15 pounds, by the way. I just, I want it to be a little tighter. Huh. Come on, baby. Good set. 
Uh, caught the last set of pull downs on the vert for the reels and stuff. By the way, if you want some motivation, kind of slightly schizo lifting content, go check out my Instagram, crescendo underscore fitness. Shameless plug, I guess. <laughs> Does anyone else, have, like my seated row is stronger than my lat pull down. But everyone I've ever trained, their lat pull down was stronger than their seated row. So I just feel weird. Anyways. Good song. <clears throat> One, two, three. <clears throat> Y'all ever think, man, I have too much skin. I've been thinking about masochism for like, not in like the traditional terms, but more just like the enjoyment of pain being like you stress versus distress in regards to like fitness and stuff like that and how the body perceives different stimuli in different ways based on your own individual outlook on those stimuli. <sighs> Deadlifting with the hard on adds 10 pounds at least. <laughs> Sorry, that was inappropriate. All right, so next up we have a hammer curl thing that I just kind of thought up one day and it, and it feels good. So we're gonna be doing hammer curls here. Super supported, super tight form. Boom, 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 hit failure. We're getting up and we're doing like a hammer drag curl. Uh, to failure. It's like kind of a drop set of sorts. Just two sets. Not too, not too bad at all. Oh shoot, I forgot to tell you guys. I'm gonna try to stop doing that weird breathing thing that I do, where I'm like, I'm just like, I can't even replicate it. But I was watching one of my videos back and I breathe weird, man. I'm gonna try to stop breathing so weird. It feels good to me, but. I'll try and quit that. All right, one more set. All right. So, lat pullovers, but um, 
man, I was just kind of goofing around. And I tried to lap pull over on this like tricep push down thing. And uh, I actually really liked it. The extra stability feels really freaking good. So um, I'm gonna try to just do my sets on this and see how I actually like it. Um, so I've never really done a working set with it like that, but we'll see how it feels. Um, but yeah, I mean, more stability is better, so. Oh, excuse me. Dude, my pump right now feels freaking crazy. I mean, just crazy. I'm super excited to take a look. Come on. That's a really weird one to do partials on. Um, my thoughts, it feels really good upper half. Lower half, it doesn't feel that good at all. Um, I think what I'll do is not these. Just like, look at that. The pump is incredible. Feels like feels like my lats are like little water balloons. And they're just like they're so tight and just ready to burst open. Yeah, buddy. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The moment that at least I've been waiting for is to see this. Oh my goodness, what a good workout, absolutely incredible. <sighs> oh, I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but I didn't hit rear delts today because I hit them last night. <sighs> you know it's a good pump if you can see the last from the front. <sighs> yeah. Does it look good? Because it feels phenomenal. <laughs> the bulk is hidden, can you not tell? How am I looking? A little bit of base? Are we, are we looking Frito-Lay? chip made. Oh my gosh. I don't even 
even feel that rambunctious today. <laughs> All right, let's give this a whirl. out of my mind, dude. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hopefully, that was a good enough look. I got it. Oh, my God. Dude, I swear posing sometimes be the hardest part of the workout. <sighs> All right. <sighs> All right, I'll see you guys in the car. Oh my gosh. What an amazing workout. Oh, I'm exhausted. I've been sleeping so suboptimally. I've been sleeping so suboptimally the past few days. It's been a mixture of, well, I went to a concert and I was out till like three and then I overtrained the next day and so I couldn't fall asleep until like four. I slept really good last night, but I'd, I needed more, you know. So I'll try to take a nap today. Just kind of figure it out. But, man, I'm tired. But what a freaking pump that was. That was incredible. Um, that was incredible. Oh, solid back day. Trying to build that back into something that's huge. <laughs> <laughs> My brain isn't functioning right now. <laughs> I actually have enough time. I'm going to get a 30-minute nap before I go to work. <sighs> Although, maybe I'll go to work and take a nap there because every time I sleep in my car, I wake up and something hurts really bad and then I have to hit up my massage therapist. So, but yeah. Um, phenomenal workout. Phenomenal workout. There's something great about just trying hard. Even if you're exhausted, you might not feel good, whatever. Just going in there and just trying hard, it's a really good feeling. <clears throat> and um, it's kind of a massive W. Just trying hard. There's a difference between trying and trying hard. But... I don't know, it's a big theme right now, and the Bible study I go to is just like being half-hearted or being whole-hearted in whatever it is that you're doing. And like, I think we often find ourselves being half in and half out in many situations in our lives, not just spiritually. And so being able to, to find those things and push to be whole-hearted in them, even if it's a struggle, is a really, really rewarding thing. Um, it doesn't always manifest in the gym, but I think that's a skill that can be acquired the more that you do things wholly and fully, the easier it gets even on the days that you don't want to. But yeah, it's been a super interesting week. I took last week off as like a maintenance week. Um, I completely regret it. Granted, like, I didn't even like <laughs> diet properly or anything. I just kind of let everything go for a week. 
and it, it was such a poor decision. It was not good for me at all, which, again, is kind of my fault, but, um, yeah, next time I take maintenance, I'm going to still be going to the gym. It's such a, a pillar in my life that that was just a weird week to not be going to the gym and working out. I still hit a few workouts, which was nice, but super weird. My central nervous system is still pretty messed up from the, the concert I went to. I was essentially jumping like for six and a half hours straight. And then I hit legs the next day and ugh, crazy, dude. Anyways, hopefully my central nervous system will get a response to be stronger and better. That would be super cool. I'm just rambling now, which is cool, I suppose. There's not really, I don't have a problem with that. Oh. Oh. This is my channel. I guess I can decide if I want to ramble or not. <laughs> Uh, it's been tough keeping up with all the social media stuff, trying to post a reel every day, a vlog every week, a YouTube short every day, a TikTok every day. It's been really tough, especially since all my editing and stuff is, I'm just doing it between clients and meals and, but I am so enormously grateful for all y'all's support. Um, I mean, we just hit 100 subs on YouTube, and so from the bottom of my heart, like, thank you so much. I literally, I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic, so, um, yeah. I want to keep kind of leaning into trying to form a community, a real community, um, and so, you know, whether it's on the gram, go show some love to the gram. On the YouTubes, go show some love to the YouTubes. Um, it's all so appreciated. And, you know, I want y'all to be a part of this journey just as much as I am. And so, um, yeah. Keep doing what y'all are doing. And I appreciate every single one of you. Whew. I am so sleepy. So, I leave you with this. What do I leave you with? I don't know. I always like to end these on a positive note. Not that none of this has been negative, but I guess I just say if you can build a certainty for yourself in what you want to do, how you want to spend your time, what dreams you want to pursue, You really can't. You really can't let anyone know just how deep it goes. But as long as you know how deep it goes, go that deep. I don't necessarily think the all or nothing mentality is the most healthy. But at the same time, something similar can be pretty powerful. Why have a plan B if you know that what you're going to do is going to happen? And you have at least enough faith in yourself and enough faith in God that, that it will happen. Because there is no other choice. There's always another choice. Like there's technically always a plan B. But you don't ever have to think about that. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I swear I'm not trying to be like pseudo-philosophical or some stupid shit like that. It's really just like, I, I don't know. I just, I've been thinking a lot about how 
I don't really have any other plans. And the reason for that is just because I know that this is going to happen. And if it doesn't, I'll make it happen. You know what I mean? I don't know. Something thereabouts. I think I'm a little tired to be making points like this. Go listen to the podcast. That would... We talk about that a lot in the podcast. It's called The Deep End Podcast. There's a ton of podcasts called The Deep End Podcast, so don't you worry if you can't find it, but it's um, it's a good time. Wow. It is 10.51 on a Tuesday, and I am exhausted out of my mind. <laughs> It's almost rewarding, though, being tired like this. Trying hard and stuff. Oh, my goodness, dude. Absolutely. Haney, dude. But on the real, y'all, I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what a horrible outro. <laughs> All right. I love y'all so much. And I hope that you get a good pump today. And that you are blessed. Be good. Be blessed. Much love, everyone. I'll see you next week.